You're watching PTV. Hello, everyone. Apologies for that. Uh, you cut the music short. I did. I did cut it short. What the <laughs> hey? Yes, exactly what happened. I just realized I did not upload the moment of Groovy for our final program, but we'll get to that. I can figure oh, that out. Wow. We'll get. We'll do it. We'll okay. still do it. But hi, everyone. Welcome to PTV Live tonight. I'm Arnie. I'm Doug. I'm Ben. <laughs> I'm Sherry. Okay, you can see the shirts, obviously. Take a look. Well, do you have a picture Ooh. of it? I do not have a picture. It wasn't sent to me. Oh, okay. Oh. We look like a Hallmark ornament box. <laughs> Designed by yours truly. Because if you could see it, what does it say? It okay. says, this is my Hallmark Keepsake Ornaments shopping shirt. There you go. See? Yeah. Yep. Yep. There it is. Yep. It's my there shopping it shirt. <laughs> oh yeah. There, so we're going to be one of those dorky people when you're at Hallmark and you're seeing those people that you usually see in the park and they're having their first birthday or the family reunion. We're one of those. <laughs> yeah, we're officially, in Hallmark. we're officially those people tonight. Yeah. But in yeah, Hallmark, not at a Disney park. <laughs> everyone, welcome tonight to the show. It's great to have everyone here. We are going to be celebrating the release of the Dream Book from Hallmark. So, uh, yep, we've got our Dream Books. We're going to be going through those. How big is our first mortgage going to be? Not! We have layaway! <laughs> now, I just added up mine, Doug, just for the ones I want. Oh, goodness. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Dear, 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 dear. I'm sure we'll get to that. So, uh, yeah, oh, Megan, welcome to the stream. She's saying Fox Hollow always and forever. Fox Hollow released their weekly video yesterday. They did fruit tarts and they look Ooh, yummy. That sounds delicious. They look yummy. Go check them out. I'm not jello. And also, Richard, the Orlando guy, he dropped a video this week. Uh, his The Root Family Museum, the Coke products, it's finally here. And it's I not really Dr. Loved Pepper. It. I loved it. Just <laughs> loved it. Yes, absolutely. Great See? video. Dr. Pepper. And look, Mary Ellen, hello. Uh, yeah, the wish book is fantastic. We love our dream book. It's just fantastic. We can't uh, wait to get started. Remember, everyone, it's 250 days until Christmas. Mm -hmm. Officially yeah. wow. today. Oh, goodness. That's... They're wow. asking, how are we doing? How is everything doing all dilly dilly? Hmm. Okay. Well, well what, what do you think? It's, we have our glasses. There's no better way to celebrate the Hallmark Dream Book release than with a Hallmark wine. This is I, the Hallmark Channel Joy from uh, this, this past Christmas. Uh, they did a Sauvignon Blanc, and they also did a Cabernet Sauvignon that they called Jingle. But we opened up a bottle of Joy because we've got several bottles of these left. <laughs> For yeah, I was disappointed that we couldn't find the Valentine's one in any store. I told Sherry I was opening up a bottle of wine for this uh, for this live stream, and she went, "Bless your heart." Well, I'll it's been one of those days. I think it's time. Well, it's not really fitting, but it kind of fits the mood right now. What don't you think? Rebooting <laughs> server. Yeah, our server's rebooting. It's server uh... <laughs> booting. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, yeah the bell bell there's time. less of wine on that bar. So yeah. you may have the Sauvignon Blanc. We have the Cabernet you've Sauvignon. You've got, got the jingle. jingle, jingle. So we're going to pour ourselves some red wine here, everyone. Oh, oh it God. is a glug glug, isn't it? Yeah, that is. Why are you drinking so much? You're only supposed to go like this. That's all you're That's supposed to do. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. See, you're only do a little swoosh. There. Well, I think jingle wine. I don't wine need is, a lot of wine. I think jingle wine is delicious. I like it. And oh, look at that. There's two sips in there. DG, love the shirts. Thank you so much. We had a lot of fun putting these together. You'll see how. Yeah, we look like a Hallmark ornament box. If I can get the moment of groovy going, you'll see exactly what it is. 
and how we put them together. So yeah, we had a lot of fun with that. They were fun. They were fun to do. Lots of fun. Oh. <laughs> Um. <laughs> yes, Ben. He does. He does cruising with food. Yeah. He needs a whole lot more. He needs yeah. two whole bottles. Yeah. Did you did you pour enough wine in in Doug's glass for him? No, I he poured, poured, more, he I poured, poured his own. Wine. He poured oh, his tannins. Own. It gives me a headache. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, I, and the red wines. No, that's yeah. I just made that up. Seasons dilly dillying. Hello, Jim. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I just like making things up. Okay, so well, where are we going to start with this? Well, we're going to start with this. There we are, right in <laughs> front of me. Isn't that interesting? It's... It's locking up because it, the processor just can't handle two files at once. Well, yeah, we okay. we have to let the computer get it through it. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah, you know, we hear our fan on our on the computer. It's just it's just doing its best to process it. I told you not in. to do it, but well, I really <laughs> didn't have it set to do it. But you know, it, it kind of happens. So there we go. I informed you thusly. <laughs> okay, so right in front of me was the film this past Saturday on the Hallmark Channel uh, weekend premiere. Doug, Arnie, and I did uh, a watch party, and we had several people join us in and out of the movie as we watched. And uh... <laughs> it is not a Windows 95 <laughs> computer. No, it's a mid-2013. Is it really that old? Mm -hmm. Mid twenty okay, thirteen. We, we need to do something about that. Then. Yeah, I do need, need to upgrade to, my Mac. We wow. need, we need to start putting some money aside for uh, a better computer for Arnie. Then, yeah. Uh, no. The movie, while it was kind of like a, a twenty minute plot extended over twenty uh, over two hours, it wasn't necessarily that bad a film. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. But it, 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 it no, really it's fine. Uh, the <laughs> movie itself was the movie itself was about uh, a wedding a wedding designer. I guess is that she wasn't no, a she wedding wasn't, planner. She no, she was a wedding, wedding stylist. Yeah, a bridal wedding stylist. stylist. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. She was a wedding stylist. She just did, the and she came clothes. across a, a wedding party of people that she knew from back in college, but she was not invited to the wedding. And she came across a guy who she had wanted to date back in college, but never got around to getting out on a date with him. At the same time, there was a chef there at the hotel, a sous chef who seemed very smitten with her at the same time. Mm -hmm. So he kept giving her friendly advice on how to approach this guy all the while looking at her longingly. This was carried out for an hour and 45 minutes. Why? Because it's a Hallmark Channel movie. It could have been a half hour sitcom. Yeah. But, but I wanted I to see it. how he got the restaurant. They could have done more. There was more story after. I mean, she gets invited but to go to this I restaurant. It. It's like, there was so much more story there they could continue, but they melt all that. It was but I have to tell you, I appreciated the fact that the the female lead was not full of herself and she wasn't the, you know, the high strung type either, which I've seen in a lot of the other ones. <laughs> Richard, Richard, the movie was essentially three scenes played over and over mm -hmm. and over. The three months later, love prevails, fade to black. One and a half Orlando's. Of course, that's out of five. Ben, of the of the rating, what did you give it? Uh, you know, I was probably more entertained by the film than Richard was. I gave it a good five stars. Five crowns. Five gold crowns out of ten. Yeah, I gave I it five gave gold it crowns, six. too. I gave it six. I gave it six. I actually gave it the bit okay. of a doubt. I was, I, so I was more people, entertained. The rating like, is officially five and a half crowns. And I must say, I, I, I applaud Paul. 
Paul was watching the watch party with us, and yes, he called it. He said that there there would be a three months later scene at the end of the film. <laughs> he wasn't wrong. He was not wrong. They did it. But yeah, he gave one Ben burrito out of five. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna have to have a, a another burrito during one of these movie nights. Ooh, I, I think that's a good a idea. Bridge. Come on over. We'll go to California Burrito, bring them home, and we'll eat during the movie. Oh, we found that. some that were really close to it in in Dublin. Yeah. Oh, oh there was a, a place that we went to called Gordito's. Delicious, delicious. Oh, fat man, Gordito. Or he had he had the burrito from there, and then we went through McDonald's drive through to get our sodas, and he got an order of fries. So he essentially had a California burrito. There you yep. go. Okay. So anyway. Yeah, California burrito <laughs> goodness, definitely. So everyone, that, I guess I would say, yeah, that was a good summation of the film. Very easy, very easy. Princess Paula Bell, welcome in. Welcome Hi, in. welcome. Uh, so that is the Hallmark Movie Review for this week. I get this week did you get anything at all sherry because i i know I, did. I actually got the stuff to show but let me get it okay in the meantime i'll <laughs> so go ahead and show prepared. what i got i'll show what i got it was a matter yeah. of um ecamm live did a shirt giveaway i got an email yeah you, you thing, told right? us about that yeah no, yeah no no this is the e this is the shirt that they gave me for free they just said here just return this email and we'll send it to you and there it is. Stop dreaming, start streaming. Hashtag EcamFam. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Well, what uh, I, I got was this, this Fiesta sign. And then I got this stuff and I started making this wreath. Oh, can we get a full picture on this? Sure. This is stunning. And it's not totally done yet. I've got to put a bow on it. And... She's she's crowding me out. Yep, I oh, am. This is a and Texas then, thing again. And then the Fiesta sign will go at the bottom with streamers of ribbon hanging down it from is, it. Sherry's daughter-in-law for comes from from Southeast Texas, and there Houston. there's a lot of uh, celebration around Fiesta. The end of April, they said they have a Fiesta, and regardless of where you go. When they're having their fiesta over, I think it's three days, wherever you go in, they give you um, pins, yeah, collector's pins. And so my son Jeremy asked if there was a way that I could think of in a wreath to display it. So that's what I did. I made the wreath, and then all of these colors on the bottom of the sign, I ordered just plain grain ribbon that I will attach to the back of the sign. And they'll have long streamers hanging down from it where they can pin their pins. But so I, a creative way of displaying the pins that they get in Texas. I, I got all of funny. that. I got a little lamp. I actually bought 12 of them, Doug. See, Wanda oh, says they're for you in days. It may You're be like a Rottweiler that. pit bull. You get uh, fixated on something and you ran out. Totally well, didn't have to do it. These are little <laughs> Dollar Tree lamps. That Doug had got picked one up of, and they wanted Love more. It. But Ben and I went to. Well, look at this. It's very bright, and it's great for live streaming, or if you're on a Zoom call, or something, and you're in a funky lighting situation. You yeah. just have that, and it's yeah. Great. Derek, you might want to use this for the spotlight channel of the week. I used it. I used it at work for um, doing a video. My CEO wanted to record a video for. Uh, a message to send out to all staff. So I recorded that. I had my studio lights ready to go for it. And then I had that one light beneath her and it was shining up, hid all the shadows, no shadows at all, especially with the fluorescent well, lights above. Well, what I like is our house is so old. The lighting in here is not good at all. <laughs> and I've been using, uh, what's the brand of it? It's a- um, Some plug-in craft light that she- Outlight? 
I, it does, an it ought, does, an ought light. Yeah, okay, well, light. whatever. But she's gonna replace it with this. Huge. Yeah, she's gonna replace it with this little one, and, so that I can see what I'm doing with my my little projects. And then there's no cord coming across the floor. This is one that I finished. You can't see. That. I don't know how I long know. the batteries last, but that's very cute, Sherry. I like that. And I'm working on a wreath now, but I I did get the um. I bought 12 of these. So, Doug, I've got your supply for you because I need one by my sewing machine, too. And then I bought the Dollar Tree batteries to try them. I oh. figured, you know. Okay. It's six of them for a dollar. So, we'll see how they go. Well, thank but you. That's pretty, much, that's pretty much all I got. Thanks. I did pick up a couple of pails for uh, patriotic theme. Okay. Little metal. Oh, that's good. Well, brands. thank you, Sherry. So that's more crap. Well, thank it you. wasn't delivered. It wasn't delivered, but thank you, Sherry. Appreciate you. Uh, the stuff for the wreath was delivered. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It was. That's right. And then a couple of pieces of fabric for a quilt that I'm working on. So. Yeah, they wanted to say she likes the lighting because it like hides her wrinkles. <laughs> I agree <laughs> with you, Wanda. I do want to talk about something else that we experienced together. Welcome to the Jenkins Sandwich Wars. We have been trying occasionally to various sandwiches uh, from various places. In this case, you this see... This came from a frozen the picture, department. The picture there, it's members mark. This is from Sam's Club. And Ben, where did you hear about this? Uh, I heard about this from another YouTube channel, uh, a channel known as The Deal Guy. He's got over a million subscribers and I can see why, because he gives a lot of good suggestions on different stores and different items of where you can find a bargain and what you should be buying and what you shouldn't be buying at certain stores. At this certain is, months, at, too. Yeah, in certain months. This one was just released earlier this month for an April special. This was found at Sam's Club in the freezer section. It is a standard chicken sandwich that... If you have the right bun to go with it, because the frozen bun that they supply with it, it's just marginal, but you can get better buns. But the patty itself tastes very similar to what you get at Chick-fil-A. It does. I agree. We, it's, we, it's very We prepared good. these in the air fryer, and they do have air fryer uh, directions on the back of the box. That and I, I really liked that. It was and, delicious. And the thing is, it turned out perfect the mm. way they had it. Yeah, the it very, very juicy. When I took mine, it like squirted out this liquid goo. It was they, have a, they have a standard patty. They also sell a spicy variation of it. We did not try the spicy one. Uh, Sherry and I were on our way over to Doug and Arnie's on Saturday morning to work on these shirts that we just did. And we would have bought both boxes, but knowing the freezer capacity that Arnie and Doug have, we opted not to because we would have wound up with a lot of thawed out chicken sandwiches. That's very true. So I want to go back and try the, the spicy one. So we'll probably get that this weekend or the following weekend at some point. Okay. There's a lot of talk about my nails, Arnie. Okay. Can you do a close up of my hand so that they can see what it looks like? Sure. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> They're blue. Yeah. Yeah, they are blue. I saw and, those Saturday. What's wrong? And the ring finger is glittery. <laughs> Somebody asked if they were purple, but no, they're blue. Well, well sometimes blue well, comes across yeah. as blue on camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Richard>. Orlando guy. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially when there's women that want to know about my nails. Okay, let me go ahead and just go ahead and I'll just play that. There you go. You know what? <laughs> uh oh, we're teams. Yep. Absolutely. No, Megan, absolutely not. I might get myself in trouble if I do that. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm going to use it too often. 
So anyway, okay. that is that is what we have. But the thing is that tonight is really going to take some time to go through. We have our dream books together, right? Right. Yep. Okay. Doug and I want to mention one thing before we do that, though. What's wrong with that? Just, mm. Do you mind if I get some of my popcorn? No, that's fine. Yeah, go for it. Doug and I want to mention one thing before uh, before we get started with that, and that is um, we're going to Disneyland. We're going to Disneyland! Play that. Oh Play that. <laughs> I, you know, he's been horrible at this, and I'm spitting all over the place. Okay, <laughs> we were supposed to do it. So yes, we got tickets. Never thought in a million years. I'm starting to get flashbacks all week. Of 1987 is when I went to Disneyland for the first time. My parents just where where we lived, we just didn't have the money and the time that my dad being a thing. So when I went to Disneyland in 1987, it was my first time. This past Thursday it felt like 1987. Now, I've been talking to other people. There's another channel that's going to be showing up there with us at Disneyland on on Friday, April 30th. I'm very excited about it. Their channel's name is Bill Lisa. Bill Lisa is, uh, they, they normally vlog at Disneyland, but they're also fans of PTV Live. They haven't been able to do our show during the, during the regular time because they're taking a class on Monday night together. So... That's the same time as our show, so they can't do it. But they vlog quite a bit about Disneyland, and get this. They're going to be wearing Life with Ben t-shirts on oh, Friday the 30th. That's awesome. That is awesome. Well, I'll so, be honest with you guys. I think you guys are a little bit braver than I am. I'm not quite ready to do something like that. <laughs> oh, I am. We, I'm ready to lick surfaces and breathe out of the people's air. I'm all for it. It's Disneyland. I was there from the millennium, the Y2K crash. It never happened. So I'm going to the you, pandemic. I'm so, do you want me to tell you the year I first went, Doug? Yeah, something sure. about the 50s. 19, 1958. That's fine. But good for you. You got Sherry, to go to young age. I had to no, wait Sherry, until I was 13. Sherry actually went to Disneyland before the, before the Matterhorn was even built. Yeah, That's a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. Ben, we were there in... 19 I had to wait 13 years. Remember, we went to Disneyland in 1965. It was August of 1965 at the same time as the Watts riots. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. But, but yeah, I mean... Dad got us a hotel and he thought he was getting away from it, but he was getting closer to it. We went to go get <laughs> pizza for dinner across the street from the hotel and they said, we can sell it to you to go because we're locking up because of the riots. And you could hear the gunshots going off on the freeway, which was just like a block away from the hotel. Dear Lord. Good times as kids. Definitely. In Orange times. County? Or are you guys in... The, in what? It, it was in what? South Central LA. Oh, you guys were in yeah. South Central LA? Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, we have uh, a lot coming up. That's going to be next week, toward the end of the week. Doug and I will be going out. We'll probably be live streaming from Disneyland um having a lot of fun with that only a little we're not resort tv one you're not going to live vicariously i'm going to be one enjoying yeah we will be streaming uh we'll stream probably a couple times once maybe during the morning and then once in the afternoon just to give you a feel of what things are going on there at the park otherwise we're going to be really enjoying ourselves Lots yeah when i wear there, my there, glasses there. put tissue paper up them Wow, Richard. There is no point in taking away from your experience. It's a very personal thing. Oh, you yeah, need to do what you need to do. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Megan, uh, Megan, you were four years old. I was 13. I'm glad that you guys are all rubbing it in. I had to wait until 13. I never thought I was able to be going to go because this, this was never going to be on our parents' horizon. Wanda's saying, I've only been there once, 2017. We'll change that, Wanda. You got to go with us when Disneyland can allow yeah, we let people from the rest, of the, all the rest of the states need to behave. Yeah. So anyway, that's what's, oh, look at that, Jim. Well, right now, it's just California residents anyway, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, it is. He, con <laughs> he got an I Conquered Space Mountain bumper sticker. Yeah, yeah. I got that. I ended up getting that in eBay for 10 bucks. Because okay. I was jelly. Moving oh. on. What's that, Ben? 
Should this, be fun about Hallmark, but we could talk about Disneyland forever. Yeah, because I love yeah, it so yeah, much. Yeah, but yeah, we this, gotta go shopping because it's our shopping. Here, show us, Ben. This box just arrived on Saturday. It came from Hallmark uh, about a month and a half ago. I re-upped my membership to the Keepsake Ornament Club. I have not opened this yet. No, he hasn't. Uh, it is sealed here with purple Hallmark tape. I'm going to go ahead and cut it open right now so we can unbox the, uh, the, 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 fun the, things the in 2021 it. Keepsake Ornament Membership Club box. This... Let me let me pull this yeah, down. It's a big box. You see the boxes behind Ben right now? Those are his ornament club boxes from 2018, 19, and 2020. This is now the box for 2021. They were a big box. Yep. Is that gold or is it white? Oh, I want it's it. white. This is white. It's white. Oh, they're so cheap. They can't do a gold foil stamp. <laughs> so cheap. Well. It says, Watch out for my wine. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does come with a special edition dream book. Wow. That's Ooh. pretty. It also comes with a $5 coupon, which means I can get discounted ornaments. I'll be buying them for you. Okay. I'll hold them. With our greasy it comes with It comes with a bunch of stuff. There's like ornament hooks here. Specialty ornament hooks. Mm, I don't care about that. It comes with there ornaments is, too. There is an ornament here called "That's Snow Sweet." So so full of puns here. You picked these out, right? No, these are standard issue in the ornament club selection. I thought you you said you picked out your generic. No, one. no. You can oh. pull. You can pick out generic. You can pick out your ornaments of choice. I like that at, at the premiere, at each at each subsequent premiere. Oh, that's fantastic. But it is a mem this one is a member exclusive, and it has a lot of snowmen <laughs> and uh, a, a baking table. Oh, it, that's it's, cute. It's really really cute. I'll have to open it up so you can see it better. Better. That's really cute. But there's also one other ornament here. It's called Sweet Snowman Baker. Oh, yeah, I see that. Do you want these bags? Okay. No. Sweet Snowman it Baker. Like okay, that. that's really nice. Yeah. I like that. And then there's also an ornament hanger that they include in every one of these boxes. I've got about three or four of these now. Oh, wow. Is it the same, a, is it the same base? There's a lot of packing paper in here, too. Is it the same base, Ben? No, it's it's this one is based around this year's ornament hooks. Which are cookies, star-shaped cookies. Something else I noticed was there's was one ornament. I saw a video about this. There's an ornament that actually has the cookie theme with it as well. So I don't know if uh, the baker, the snowman baker, is holding a cake or something, and there's a cookie on top or something like that. Yep. Well, I know there's an ornament like that that we can purchase, but but the two ornaments, the two ornaments here, are retailing for sixty dollars. You get this along with the special edition dream book, the ornament hanger, the, coupon. the hooks, the coupon, all for forty nine ninety nine. Behind the designs, yeah, that's you yeah. know what it's 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 nice being part of the ornament club, and you get yeah. special perks. You can you buy get, you, get, you get access. To specialty ornaments as well. Ooh. Yeah, ornaments that aren't sold to the general public. Look at that. I think I'm going to have to get this new uh, series. Stocking the stuffers. There's a, there's a new ornament collection here, stocking stuffers. But look at the premiere for next year. You can, oh, right. They've already got a picture of the 2022 offering of this collection. Oh, nice. Yeah, they That's want really big money. Mine's going to Disneyland. Who is? <laughs> I said, no, I'm not paying any of the 50 bucks for this. My money's going to Disneyland. Oh, yeah. Paul says, add another tree for this year. Uh, we will see. Yeah. <laughs> have to see how many trees. All, we have. all these ornaments that are here will stay in my collection and 
be part of my trees that I already put here. There are other so ones. So now I need a new spot here for, well, let's, let's, let's put this up here for now. Oh, I like that the work. Stories about some of the new ones, Ben. Yeah. I mean, like this is one, and yeah. this is a sneak peek for. Okay, so they do give sneak peeks for everyone. Hey, Sam, how are you doing? Uh, this is an ornament that I picked up last week that is part of the 2021 collection. Hallmark did something this year that I don't recall them ever doing before, and that they rolled out several ornaments that are designed for Christmas in January. Yeah, I, I so, want that ornament. Yeah, this one. I, knew about it. I saw that in the catalog. This is a peanuts ornament. It says, what, what can you do when the patient doesn't know, doesn't say anything? Yeah. And it's Lucy at her psychiatric booth with Snoopy. It's I I've I have an affinity for peanuts. I've loved peanuts all my life. I used to draw them as a kid. You did. Do you still have some of those oh, drawings I, somewhere? I doubt that very much. I think mom kept one somewhere. Mom's a pack rat. She probably does. <laughs> Next year's cookie cutter ornament. They, okay, they have a they have a, a 2022 sketch of the cookie cutter ornament as well that Arnie and Doug collect on. And the holly holiday parade. On their kitchen tree. This is next year's holiday parade. Oh, oh, oh okay. Irving Disney. What was that? Arvind Disney is here. Oh, hello, Arvind. So anyway. Anyway, this is what this looks like. That's actually really nice. I like the stand. And I like the Me cookie base. Yeah. Megan, why do you hate, why are you hating on Lucy? <laughs> She's a fuss budget and can and can identify with her and it's a little too close to home. I love that. I just love that channel's name, Disney Trash Can. So just, <laughs> just the way it is. Megan, you're a lot like Lucy. Is that why you don't like her? So anyway. That Megan, guys. Not nice sometimes and rude. Oh, she's always nice. <laughs> anyway, that was the introduction to uh, to this year's membership club. But the emphasis now is on the dream book that was released on April 15th. Indeed. Let's go shopping. You, you can go to Hallmark stores and pick up your own copy, your own hard copy. We got ours over the weekend. Yes, we and did. And we are now starting to mark them up to see which ones we want. Now, this is the PDF. The PDF copy. This is the PDF copy that I downloaded from the Hallmark.com website. So we can go through it together. <laughs> uh, there are some 36 pages that I will be flipping through. Not all of them have ornaments on them. But uh, let's go ahead and start. And look at, hello, Noah. But here we go. We start with the first one. Page six and seven. Yeah, page six and seven um, in the actual paper. That's it there. I'm not really feeling any of these, I per se. I like the vintage snowman, but not for $35. I've got the, co I've got the cozy birch snowman um, marked because I got the one from last year. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the snow angel with the blue halo. Are you really? Yes, I am. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Really? Yes, I, I am. I didn't see that one. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, peep. Oh, that's, oh, number, letter L, the little snowman. I thought he was talking about the angel. No, 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 not the angel. This the is snow. a, a snowman. Even the snowman looks, yeah. But as, as you see things on the page yourself, everyone that's here in the chat, go ahead. Feel free and pipe in if you see something that you like as well, because it, uh, you know, we already have an idea of what we want, but, you know, we're kind of interested in whatever everyone else likes. So let's go to the next page. Yeah, see, D and G love angels. There we go. So Now, my is... grandson wanted me to get him the Rock Candy Express, and I told him, no way. Yeah, how much is that one? $49.99. He has no idea how what the pricing is on things like that. He just, he just saw like the train and liked candy. it. 
<laughs> Richard, you're right. It was kind of a so-so page. Yeah, no, this one, I want the train on the bottom of the all aboard B. That's it. Oh, do you? But you know, Doug, he loves trains. I so. have a train train right. in the bedroom, so. That's true. <laughs> and so, the, pengu the penguins on the train? Yeah. Uh, the rest, oh, the rock candy thing? That looks hideous. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. we can move on. <laughs> the uh, well, the soft serve surprise, while it's a it's a cute idea, I just don't see it as a viable Christmas ornament. No, I don't either. <laughs> I would like to see the person. I, mean, it, that I would show. love a soft serve cone machine, though. I mean, it's it's not Christmassy enough for me. Now, what songs do any of these ornaments play? Now, see, Arvine is where, whereas both both Jonathan and Richard love that machine, and it is cute. I have to see it in person because pictures. Yeah, that, that's the one thing about Hallmark. They have hundreds of ornaments, and they're going to be tastes for everyone. But there's 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 also one thing to keep in mind is that the picture doesn't always tell you exactly yeah. what the ornament yeah. looks like. It's a good representation, but until you see the thing in person, you're just not gonna know what it looks like until you actually feel it and see it and smell it. Oh, it plays "Let It Snow." Thank you, D and G. Uh, so. There are some of these ornaments, they may not look like you want them, but when you see them in person, it's going to change everything. What place Let It Snow? One of the ornaments. The uh, Let It Snow oh, is... The penguins with uh, snowman. Yeah, the train plays Here Comes Santa Claus. Yeah, Playful Penguins. Okay, next page. I'm yep. curious about... The ch the two channels or keep the wine glass, but I gotta see. Yeah, it these are two Hallmark channel ornaments. I don't know. I could yeah. probably I pass them. I want C on that one. Nothing butter. Nothing butter. No, I'm gonna pass. Actually, I don't. <laughs> you know, the perfect pairing Hallmark channel and wine. I think I'm that's... gonna put a big question mark. I on think that, that that's a good idea. On a question mark. It really does help to drink when you're uh, watching Hallmark movies. <laughs> <laughs> drink alcohol. <laughs> Why you know what? That's not a bad idea. I really should be pouring some libation while I'm watching a Hallmark Channel movie because sometimes you like need to little, get through it. I like it. the little snowman with the popcorn that says nothing butter. What about Hallmark the hippopotamus? Channel. You know, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Some people will like that one. Yeah, but Richard does. Like that Richard good. likes it. Okay. Oh, I do not like any of these either. These are hideous. Doug is Very bad. Doug is jumping ahead. I can't. I can't do this. The uh the elf on the ice is it's an interesting if you like elf on the shelf, that's a cute idea of him being a hockey player. I'm not an elf on the shelf I'm fan. Not either. I'm a hockey guy, yeah, but I know, there are, I know there are a lot of people that are. Yeah. I'm a hockey guy, but yeah, I'm not gonna go. I hate one. that I want to have a pond of his for Christmas, so that's even more go bye bye. Okay, next page, everyone. Here we go. <laughs> I don't like Dear any Lord. of them. <laughs> okay. So what do you see here that you like? Let me see. I didn't see any of them here that no, I like. No, they're really bad. Um, I'm I not starting okay, I don't know if you see it right there in the center bottom. Crappy Christmas? Yeah. Really? <laughs> That's Rebel reindeer. What's the poop emoji? Sexy and <laughs> <they> <laughs> <play> <laughs> jingle bells. <laughs> All of these are bad. The 12 beers of Christmas? Yeah, this is that not. Elf, that elf is actually, look at that distended belly. I know. Yeah, the donut is kind of cute. Humor, donut, I think it's very good to this. I I, don't I, will, the, I will say the donut angel is a little cute. Yeah, donut so angel is kind of cute. Awesome. No, yeah, look at awesome. Santa at the top. Just believe. Yeah. Is that a unicorn pulling the sleigh? I think so. Oh, that's hideous. <laughs> no. <laughs> Moving on. How about I'm sexy and I know it? Where? Number J. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't yeah, see that. Yeah, that's really bad. Sexy. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, yeah, I'll pass on yeah, that. Yeah, this is not. I don't like the direction they went on those ones. Okay. The ugly sweater disco inferno is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, uh, Cassidy says crappy Christmas describes this page. Yeah, I don't like any of them. Okay, well, then we'll move on. Moving on. Here comes Sandy Claus. Now, this one includes, uh, right behind uh, the small images of us, uh, you'll see Sally kind of peeking out from the other. That's a remake of an ornament from last year. Uh, so is Santa and Jack with Zero. But new for this collection 
is Oogie Boogie and Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Mm -hmm. So Doug and I will probably get those since we already have the other three. Yep. And then I want Bedtime Stories. Ben, Sherry, is there anything here that you're liking that you see? The Dr. Seuss, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Oh, that is, I like that. The, the, think, the record player. Yeah, I got to say okay, that. that one, for that one, I've got to hear it. I want to make sure that it is uh, Thurl Ravenscroft singing the song. Yeah. If it's him singing have, the song, I'll probably get it. I have two other record players, I think. Wanda says yeah. she's a sucker for Rudolph. And Noah likes the heat and snow misers. Yeah, you know what? You know what? That Those are very popular characters from the year without a Santa Claus. They are. They're very popular. I, uh, no. Wasn't yeah. that with Shirley Booth? I believe so. Not many people like that special, but I do. It's a cute special. Yeah, it what? is a cute one. The year without a Santa Claus? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I like but that. I will, they for me, glitter. Anything Frosty the Snowman is a hard pass. I'm not a fan of that cartoon. Mm. I like I, it. I like it. I would get the holiday bouquet. I just want to see it first. Hi, Nathan. And Rudolph the sledding. I mean, it looks okay. Okay. Slide and oh my gosh, version. they have another bell. Oh, wait a minute. Sli Thank you, D&G. They just said, slide the arm on the record player to hear a version of your, A Mean One, Mr. Grinch by Nell, uh, Nello Williams. Okay, so no, 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 no. By Nella Willems, that's the artist. Is that the person who wrote the song? No, she's the artist that the designed artist the, ornament. the ornament. Oh, the artist who made the ornament. There, uh, by yeah. Nella Williams did this one. Gotcha. Okay, I understand. We have to see it, but I'm putting a question mark and a little happy face by it. Yes. Oh, Lothar, Lothar is here. We are wearing the same t-shirts. We made these this past weekend. These are, I want, uh, this is my Hallmark uh, keepsake ornaments shopping shirt. We're shopping for ornaments tonight. We're going through our wish list right now. <laughs> so next so, page. So far, my pen hasn't scratched too many pages, which is a good thing, but that will change oh, shortly. I know. Okay. Uh, I am seeing one that on this page that I really do want to take a look at, and that's the gift from Aunt Bethany. I've got that on my list, That's too. That's a must. I, I'm a huge fan of uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I know there are people that don't like it. Me, I'm a huge fan of the movie. Yeah. Man, I'll tell you, I, I want that one. Clark um, is the best looking house the in town. The balled up ornament, the ball up lights. I'd have to see that. But the ornament okay. is... Clark's Crazy Christmas, it looks like something that sits there on a table. It's yeah, it is actually because it costs $159.99. I want to see how big that thing is because it's it, very it big. Looks, I would buy the like, gingerbread house first for $150. Bucks, it's but. not that big. Oh, it's it's nine and a half inches wide. Is Rusty still in the Navy? <laughs> she wrapped up her damn cat. <laughs> And that's the box. That's the box. <laughs> so we're going to get that one. Buddy the Elf looks like he's saying it's Santa. Yeah. Buddy speak. The leg But I don't like his not, show. But I'll tell you, I'm not fond of brotherly love from a Christmas story. No, there's other reasons why and I can't say it online. Yeah, we're not going to talk about <laughs> it. But uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, there are people that like it. Now, Richard said that the Polar Express Bell will probably sell out. It probably will. It's not the first time they've had it. It's a very popular no, they ornament. Have, they have a bell every year almost. Yeah, they have just a bell about. every year. I want a catalog now, that shows every year. Now, here is the next page. Okay, so we have... Uh, it looks like it's... That one. Okay, so we've got... Uh, take a look at the that top one. center. Seasons Treatings. This is number 13 in a series. Doug and I have that whole collection. So we will probably be doing it. And there's going to have... Probably um, you will be doing it. Yeah, I'm gonna 10 get years two, we need. I'm going to get the two cookie cutter ornaments and the sweet decade. Yeah, we will be getting those two. Sweet decade is one that I have that as well. Yeah, we have the sweet decade, the seasonal smorgasbord season treatings, the limited quantity of 10 years. Of course, I've been doing it 10 years. <laughs> uh, well, I love Wanda's typo on here. She says, I lick the cupcake. But then she says, like. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sean. Hello, Sean. Now, the Nutcracker. 
I have to get for my uh, son and one for my daughter because I started them on that series. Okay, now here's here's a hint. Uh, I spoke to a Hallmark representative at the store that we go to for our ornaments. I picked up a couple of dream books from her this past weekend. She said, if you see any limited edition ornaments in here that you want to include on your wish list. Now, when I say wish list, they have a paper insert inside the dream book that you can mark off and give to your Hallmark representative to have so they keep you in line for the num for uh for which the ornaments, ornaments you order priority yeah the earlier you submit your wish list your I'm, this wine is getting to me the sooner <laughs> the sooner you submit your wish list the better chance you have of getting all the limited edition ornaments that you would like on your wish list okay and the duke of winter Nutcracker is one of those that I definitely want to have because I've got the first two in the collection of the Nutcracker. Yeah, ornaments. are you going to do I? I think yes, I you, do you too. Do, so I need do. to add that one too. Yeah. Um, but do you want the limited edition or the special edition as well as the third in the series? Yes. Oh. Now, Ben, the limited the, the special edition one is available on December 1st. Yeah. So yes. you want to make sure that you um, notate that as well. Yes, because not Any, all that, uh, yeah, your your Hallmark ornaments are dated here. They will let you know when they are being released at the stores. So they have three rounds. Of <laughs> pour another glass of jingle. Already done. <laughs> I, I'm on my second glass of joy over here, and I'm feeling a little fuzzy. Uh, <laughs> really? Oh yeah, yeah, I am. I'm a lightweight. Anyway, yeah, you are. Uh, where was I going with this? Yeah. I don't know. I've we need to move on. I'm getting, I'm getting bored. No, the the oh, the dates on the ornaments. There are three rounds of ornament releases this year. They have July 10th. They have the first weekend in October and the first weekend in December. That's fantastic. They, fantastic. Yeah. So it's, 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 they, it's they, will re, they will they will be releasing them all through that time period. Okay. Next page. Next page. Next page. This is where I start getting in trouble. Yeah, me Don't too. Ask you, oh my ask you God. Where's the derailed? Yeah, I know. Bored. I'm sorry. Sean's asking, "Where's the clip of sidetrack?" Oh. Okay, so we have <laughs> sidetrack derailed, Sean. Derailed. Yeah. Okay. So, now here, there are several ornaments here that are part of collections that I keep. So I'm going to need the holiday parade, the A. It's the blue little blue truck. I'm getting that one too. I will also be getting the uh, cozy new pajamas, which is the 14th in the Making Memory series. Really? Yeah, oh. because that goes with all of the uh, snowmen that I keep on the trees that we have on the hearth in front of the fireplace. Oh, cozy pajamas. Okay, I see that, Ben. Okay. Yeah. Um we are we're gonna get the holiday parade and baking buddies. Yeah, baking, baking buddies, buddies is cute. The penguins baking the the gingerbread house, that is a very cute ornament. But um I'm gonna hold off on that for now because I may be getting that later on, or I may designate that as a gift that someone can give me later on. Hint, I, hint, I like hint. to hold off on some of the things like that. Hint hint. But, hint, hint. Uh, both of the ones on the bottom of page 20 are Frosty Friends, and I will be getting both of those. The one with the penguin on the handcart, that's really cute. Oh, the hijinks? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be something you're going to want. The Nifty 50s is my Nifty favorite. Nifty 50s, lower right on the page. That is uh, a collection. It's not really a series. They just happen to do these ornaments. Yeah. We have the whole set of them that they've done. Yeah, I'm going to be getting that, but I'm also going to start the stocking stuffer series which is the you know up at the top letter k and the only reason i'm going to get it is because i saw the drawing in ben's information about next year's stocking stuffer and i really like that one so i'm just going to go ahead and get the first one I'm well she had, already, she had already she had already decided that she wanted the that 
series anyway. So we're trying to say then, no to series no simply to series. because there are so many that we've already collected. And what? then that Boston Maybe. Terrier, the puppy love. You probably have 31 years. Megan has every single one of those. Oh, good for her. Lothar, you say you like the 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 one with the polar bear. Is that letter B? The uh the jingle bear the jingle bell pals. That's yeah, with uh two characters that called Snowball and Tuxedo. Yeah, yeah that is a cute ornament, but it's a series that I don't have. No. Jim says PTV Hallmark Dream Book stream is greater than the NFL draft. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you, Jim. We really appreciate your encouragement here. <laughs> Uh, we don't have the trashy ching sound because it just yeah. it's too. Okay. Now, Sean says that next, he wants next, to, he needs to be rescued. There's a spider in his driveway. Uh, wanted to tell him just to kill it with fire. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! I've I've seen pictures of this spider, Arnie. Take take a, a way back machine back to 1983 in Tonga. Yeah, that's that's not good. Not that big, but it's close. Not good. Remember, he lives in Florida. Jim, okay. you can probably uh, associate with that. You probably deal with a lot of large spiders yourself in, in the Tampa area. Rachel, that's a good question. Is this book free? Yes, it is. Yes. It is a catalog They're available free. at all Hallmark shops. And the copy that you're looking at right now on screen is a PDF that I downloaded from Hallmark.com. So you can go ahead and do that. Now, this next page here, I am going to pass I'm getting, I'm getting E. The cozy critters, because I've got all of them. Oh, okay. I'm not really into oh, no. birds and things like that, but I must say the the one that I that I like is the fancy flamingo. If I bought one on this page, it would be that one. I have to see it in first. But um, right now I am saying no on that. Well, Arnie, Arnie, I I would I would wait and see what that looks like because if you look at the hand next to it and size it next to the ornament. You're going to see that that ornament is probably huge. It does look huge. So that's I'd probably I, skip it. Yeah, that's why I'm waiting on it. Well, it's not going to be yeah. that big. It's 18 yeah. beanie. Richard, so. Richard says hard pass on these pages, and I have to agree with him. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Sometimes that's just the way it is. With the exception of the cozy critters ornament, I, I agree with Sherry. I, I've I, got all those. I, birds. I have all those. Yeah. yeah. Next page. Thank you. Okay. Nothing on this page. Nope. We can move on. Is this one of those pages? Are, yeah. Meaningful okay. moments. Yeah. This is one of those pages for weddings, for new homes. We're engaged. Our first Christmas together, always and forever. <laughs> oh, sorry. Too love happy is for me. Love. Oh, Cassidy, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cassidy for money for the ornament fund. Cassidy, thank you so much for the ten dollars super chat. Believe me, it will be put to good use for this. <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate that. Although you know, Wanda does does have a, a good idea in that she's always looking for an ornament for her next wedding, which she goes that she attends. That's not I've a bad idea. That. I've done that a lot too. <laughs> uh, Jim, are are those big spiders poisonous? <laughs> No, Sean, they're just big. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, next page, Arnie. I would say no to any of these. Yep, same thing. Okay, these on. Are, hold on. Let me take a look these, at this, too. Doug, these are around they're baby, you know, baby new birds. birds. Yeah. Doug, what? Doug has the paper book here, and before I even have a chance to look at it, he says, move on. I got. I haven't even been but able to get a chance. But he's looking at the screen. I, I, I can barely read that. I can well, wear your glasses. I am reading my glasses. I got my glasses. I can barely read it, but I'm trying to look at the catalog and everything. And Doug just keeps flipping fast. So I'm like, stop. Hey, Carla and Kiko, I'm trying you. to move on. Hey, Carla and Kiko. If there, was, if there was a newborn this year that I absolutely had to give an ornament to, it I would probably Winnie focus. I would focus on the Winnie the Pooh teething ring. Yeah, that is really cute. That is unless cute. it's somebody unless it's. A baby being born to parents who absolutely adore what Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah, that's hey. Then a, wi a wizard in training, but wizard in training. I don't know. Where's that one? It's wizard in training. Next to Winnie the Pooh. Mobile. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see it. It's really hideous. Well, no. it's not that it's hideous. <laughs> it's just yeah, you're not you're not wrong, D and G. The last few pages have been a nightmare. 
but <laughs> this is just this is just coasting up to where the damage really happens yeah. when you get into Disney and Star Wars and Marvel. Okay, next and then page. the next page, I can uh, pass same one, one of these. Same thing. This is for great grandchildren and grandchildren and, and family. Mother, sisters, and, okay, family, is, Ma is Megan still watching? They're hideous. Megan, there's a personal know. one here that says, Love you, mom. <laughs> and kids, family, brother, I sister. <laughs> I don't think she does. Hey, Jack. Welcome. Sean, Hi, uh, you need a teething ring right now? What's going on? <laughs> Are you getting old and having your teeth fall out? Okay, next okay. page, everyone. Next page. I think this one has a few up in the upper right because we're starting to get into kids' favorites here. Okay. I'm, I'm going to get Hungry Caterpillar, the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Yep. The Play Doh Penguin. Yep. And Oh, the Places You'll Go, the book gonna, by Dr. Seuss. I'm going to have to take a look at that hungry, the very hungry category because I have one already similar to that. But we'll yeah. see what, what it looks like in person. Uh, well, you know, at some point, at some point, you may want to start collecting that because they may release pages from the, the whole book. Then you'll have a whole series in your tree. That's true. That you is a possibility. Oh, the Places You'll Go, or We Could Pass. Oh, Richard says we're blocking the top left, but is there really anything worth looking there? No, no, it's no, no. If a you want to see the top left here, Richard. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there's nothing there. Nothing there's there. There's absolutely nothing there. Nothing there. But They've let's... never done a Crayola series, but they do one every single year. No, they did do a Crayola series, Doug, because Jeff had that series before he went into the... Uh, before he went into to to cars. Air... No, the airplanes. airplanes. Yeah. But, yes. I mean, it seems like they have a Crayola every single year now. Yeah, but yeah. there was a series of Crayola crayons. But you have to remember, Crayola is an IP of Hallmark. It is owned I'm by Hallmark, empty. yes. Oh, I can say no to that. Excuse me. Sherry's Sherry's I'm wine. Empty. Oh dear Lord. There we are. Lothar says, wow, some of that stuff is expensive. I looked at one thing I liked on the catalog. $49 for a glass Santa Claus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's true. It is true. It's not... Okay, so we're moving on to the next page. Lothar, the one thing you have to keep in mind about Hallmark ornaments and collecting them is that over the years, they do become much more valuable and if you're in a pinch for some cash you can always sell them yeah okay. some appreciate in value arnie once bought uh, a star trek enterprise ornament several years ago i still have mine he paid about 12 dollars for it and wound up turning around selling it for about 100 bucks didn't you uh, 150 i believe it, it was, was 150 there you go not okay. all ornaments appreciate that much, but some do. Some people are already reacting to this particular page. They're saying that they really oh, like them. well. There's a lot of pop culture here, so okay. there is. For, um, me, for me, it's a vintage fire engine. Me too. Yes. No. no. And for, battleship. For those of you who are watching this, this is actually the first real strong look I'm taking at this. So you're all seeing these at the same time I'm seeing these, and I'm starting to shudder. And twister. Okay, I like, I like Battleship. The like Super Twister. Soaker looks fun. But let me tell you this. My grandson wants C, D, E, F, G, and, and then P on the other page. <laughs> and that's just this, these two pages. <laughs> she said P. <laughs> I just say your name. But Cassidy's right. The Super Soaker is cool. Yeah, let's get that. It I'll is. That. Uh, um, do but there are, do you want Animaniacs? I'm going to take a look at Animaniacs in person. Question I'm not mark. sure because it is that comes out in October too. But I yeah. just we got a really cool Animaniacs ornament this last year. It's huge. So uh, yeah, I think we could pass. I mean, I want to look at one, it, but the rest. I'm of, looking this at that is we just, get it as well. Oh my goodness! But they, you know, they have a Transformers ornament here. I don't remember seeing a Transformers ornament before. Have they had them before? I think they I'm have. Sure they have. I'm sure they have. Hi, Piglet. Uh, ben, take a look at the bottom right. Bugs Bunny and Baby Finster. Okay, I need that one. 
I looked at that one, but oh, I don't Finster. know. If I'm... Oh, Finster, Finster baby. baby. <laughs> Let me put you want me to put a little star by it? Naughty baby. You want me to put a star by it? Oh dear. Where do where do I put my fudge? What? You want to <laughs> start by it? I, uh, yes. Okay. I do believe I've forgotten my fudge. <laughs> Go to the next page. <laughs> no, we can move on. All right. Well, yeah. Okay. Nothing for this on the one, next page. Hard pass. Yes. Princesses yep. and Barbie. Hard pass. Barbie. Me on these. That's just not me. But I for, for those of on, before you pass on the page, you have to point out yeah. that there is a collection of Disney princess ornaments on this page. Exactly. There are other things here that people will like. Someone will want that shoe. I'm sure they will. The Barbie ornament. Yeah. It, the Barbie ornaments are just not my thing. Neither and are uh, princesses. One, that one of Aurora, I would rather get a Jim Shore rendition of Aurora. But this this is the second in a Disney Princess Celebration series. Yeah. Oh, what was the Excuse first me. one? I don't remember. I don't collect Disney Princesses, so it's not on my radar. And see, Megan's favorite princess is Aurora, but she didn't like this yeah. one at all. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. It's now, uh, but they, the interesting they thing about this have, page... The interesting thing what? about this page is the bottom center. They have just blank images coming mm -hmm. soon. Did you notice yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. The other, mm -hmm. the other that I want to point out is the glass ornaments uh, selection of all the Disney princess dresses. Gowns. Gowns. I think that's a really cute set. Yeah, I would have to. See I will it. get it. I wouldn't get it because I'm not into Disney princess collecting, but I think it's a really cute idea. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, that's very funny. Okay, let's go to the next page, everyone. This is where we start getting into... Ka -ching, this, ka -ching. Is, this is a dangerous one. Now, I did okay. a commercial... <laughs> this, is, uh, this is where I'm removing my wish list. I did I a commercial... Mine earlier. Yeah, I did a commercial earlier and released it on Twitter and Instagram. And yep. the thing is, is that one of the ornaments I selected for that particular commercial is in the lower left corner of this one. This is story Storytellers. This is the statue that you can also find at Disney California Adventure. So this is one that definitely, we are marking this one for sure. We want to get this one. Yeah, uh, it is a very, very awesome ornament the, no, it's no, a good no, no. It's, it's, it's a good it's yeah. a good uh partner uh ornament to the actual partners mm -hmm. ornament that dis that hallmark released several years ago from disneyland now did you, i get 2020 of this yes you did oh shoot <laughs> yeah we're getting every single oh, one on page shoot. 36 every single one of them I'm not. I will tell you what I'm getting. Uh, I do like the there's the one on the lower the, the one with Mickey Mouse in the red car. That is a beautiful uh, representation of the first Autopia car that was at Disneyland in 1955. I think it's fantastic. It's, and and Jay, Jay Nashville says, I love the Mickey Mouse set. The mouse heads in the center bottom out toward the right, definitely. Yeah. That's one of those things I we have a whole tree here Hundreds of in our forest more. is nothing but those heads. It's those right mouse here. heads are so you know, funny that you would say that because Jeremy, Sherry's son, is starting up an Etsy shop where he does print on demand with his 3D printer. And one of the things he's going to be introducing is a keychain with a Mickey Mouse head. Yeah. It's very cute. Lego log. Lego. Lego log something. Builds. Lego, Lego log, log builds. builds. That's it. Yeah, Lego log builds on Etsy. Yeah, if some, if there's anyone, if one of the moderators could just uh, post a link to his Instagram, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you. Not uh, uh, Etsy. Etsy shop. Yeah, but you can get to his Etsy information there from Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So on these ones, I'm getting the radio. The, the Utopia, and A Year of Disney Magic. You know, I'll probably do The Year of Disney Magic, too, because we did the one from last year as well. That's a series. Yes. That's, yep. It's a series. It's not a, an official series. Eh, it's not a... No, I do like the limited 
quantity in the swing of Mickey in the golf golf outfit at the top but of the page. See, I already have one of him golfing in my Easter. Yeah, I, I mean, my spring collection. I yeah. have one of Donald golfing, and I think Minnie golfing as well. Yeah, we could pass. Yeah. We could use the money on something else. But yeah, D D and G. The radio is nice. I really like that Mickey yeah, Mouse radio. The radio. We're getting this one is one of those true ornament pages that is very dangerous. This is the first time we bought everything. What? Page. What music does the radio play? It doesn't say. It says a variety of festive holiday broadcasts. Oh. So I, whatever that means. Yeah. It may not be music. It may be spoken word. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to look at it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put a mark on that and make sure I take a look at it closely. Should we turn the page? Uh yes. Wow. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. I'm afraid though. Next um, there are three. There are three here. I'm getting. I will admit. I'm I have getting, to have him decide. I don't know. I could pass on all of them. I'm getting Rapunzel and and Pascal simply because it reminds me of Jeremy and Elizabeth's wedding reception that was a tangled theme. Okay, that I is really like that pair. The two ornament set that's really cute. Pascal being a separate ornament is a very good idea. Yes. And then I'm getting Tinkerbell because I've never seen a Tinkerbell with her uh, spreading the pixie dust like that. Tinkerbell takes flight. That's actually pretty yeah. good, Sherry. I like that. Because it's hard to find Tinkerbell ornaments that aren't the same year after year after year. But she has a very saucy pose where she's thrusting her chest out. So Yeah, well, she, <laughs> she is saucy. And then I'm getting Jacques and Gus. I love Jacques and Gus. Yeah, the Silver, Jacques and Gus ornament is really cute. Silver Rarity found the one with um, Lost in the Woods, Frozen 2, lower left corner. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, that one's kind of cool, actually. You know, a lot of people don't like Frozen. I like the films. I like them. And Frozen 2 I was do, but I'm not gonna. Good. but I'm not going to spend money on the ornaments. <laughs> okay. You're not wanting that one or any of these? I don't know, maybe Gus, uh, Jacques and Gus holding the key. Yeah, Remember that's they a carry, really good ornament. They carry that key up the stairs yep. so Cinderella can get it out of her locked room. I'm getting that one. I you love Gus Gus and Jacques. Do you want this one? No, I'll okay. pass on that. So we're only getting the Jacques and Gus on these pages. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, these pages are nothing but crap. <laughs> Okay, uh, next page. Okay, next page coming up. Here we go. Uh, this one's a dangerous one too. I... Move us out of the way, Arnie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This one, this one does need to be seen by everybody. Because I'm getting that one. Yeah, just move us up above you. There you go. Yeah, I'm getting that first one, the walkie-talkie with the green soldiers. Yes, I like love that. that. That's the a nice recreation scene from the first. Toy Story film where they're doing reconnaissance of what Andy's getting for his birthday. And that's I a don't, great ornament. I don't know that we've ever seen Bo Peep and her lamp. No, we. I don't believe we have. That is a cute ornament too. I've got to hold off on that one though for right now. Do you want another? I one? am getting uh, the 70th anniversary Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, that one's actually pretty good. I don't know that I'm going to get it. It's a very good one though. I'm getting it. I'm I getting. Want, I want to see how large it is before I even consider it. I'm getting in a nutshell. Yeah, the okay. Chippendale always a get. They're 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 very cute on I the love tree. That. Yeah, and, and then here's I'm what getting, is Megan getting, still watching? I'm what? hoping I'm hoping Megan is still watching because I see Dumbo with mother <laughs> and child, and it just that me ornament of, that ornament is actually available right now at your Hallmark store. Yeah, if if I want to keep my daughter on my good side, I will never, ever buy her a Dumbo ornament. <laughs> she cries every time okay. she sees that movie. There is a limited quantity ornament on here that I'm a big fan of, and that is the, the, the Chernabog, Chernabog from Fantasia. That is a good one, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah you see, Jim just saw that one, too. Chernabog. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We got a, it a yes, great Chernabog. ornament. And, and, and I'm getting... I'm going to get Cruella DeVille's car. That Richard's is a right really cool that. 
too. I Eeyore, love Cruella de Vil. Eeyore is not on many Hallmark ornaments. That's very no, true. But I, I didn't I, get that. I didn't, I'm not going to get that one because I have several Eeyore ornaments already. Yes, and the reason for that is because my my oldest son loved Eeyore. Jeff that, loved Eeyore. The so Eeyore he, ornament. The Eeyore ornament I'm probably going to be getting because it does remind me of my friend Sean. Uh, so Sean, if you're still watching, I'm getting Eeyore because it reminds oh, me of you. Oh, is me. Yeah. Okay. Now there is another one. Thanks for noticing. Guinevere from Onward is in the lower left. Yes. Yeah. That that's also a, a really cool find. Yeah. That's a good one. I may, I may not. I have to see it. Question mark. Or Hi, Wendy. Wanna... Yeah, put a question mark next to that one. Hi, Wendy. And uh, on this one, on these two pages, my grandson wants uh, Lightning McQueen and Cruella DeVille's car. He loves... So he likes the cars. He likes the cars. Yep. Okay. okay. I think we're ready for the next page, don't you? Yeah, next page. There we go. I'll move us back to the corner now. I'm going to get the camping deer simply because I've got a deer made out of um, sewing things. Yeah, I think that the camping deer is a really, really cool uh, ornament. I can and say the no. Irish welcome, I'm not sure yet. I may get that for my daughter-in-law because she spent, was it a semester abroad in Ireland? When Elizabeth, she was doing her master's. Elizabeth did? Uh -huh. I didn't know that. Yeah, because she did. Um, she has her master's? Yeah. Wow. Okay. My kids are too Hold smart. On. Let me tell you, Sherry's kids can have a very, very heady kind of conversation where they're discussing all types of philosophy and all that. And I'm the one looking for the TV remote, hopefully that I can come up with a rerun of the Brady Bunch. You're not the only one. I'm there. <laughs> no, my daughter-in-law studied abroad and worked on her master's Um she, like Jeremy, got her degree in um, anthropology. Oh, dear Lord. But They were a match made in heaven. But when she went to work on her master's, she got her master's in Irish folklore, I think it was. Because they told her if oh, she got Lord. something like that, it would dovetail better in with anthropology. So than going Cassidy to doesn't like anything on this page. Yeah. yeah well, I, I like the, the camping the camping deer. My grandson, of course, wants, wants the, the fire, fire engine. engine. <laughs> of course. All okay. Right. The thank you teacher is a succulent ornament. What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> well, I have okay. to say, though. Next page. A succulent doesn't die. Yeah. That's, Next that's page. true. Now, this Next is page. the one that shows the psychiatric booth with Lucy, the one that you just got. Yeah. There. Yes. So. Yeah, this is definitely another page that's dangerous. Peanuts ornaments. We have a tree that's nothing but peanuts ornaments. So uh, also there is Bacon It Mary. Sherry, I thought of you when I saw the sewing machine in the bottom, le bottom left. Well, I have one that looks almost like this. It's in green from yeah. several years back. Yeah, and I'm wondering if it's the same size because if it is, she doesn't it's need to huge. get it. Yeah, it is big. I don't have it. My daughter wants it. Megan wants it. But now, I do want Snoopy all decked out and Charlie Brown all tangled up. Got yeah. him. That I, is cute. Actually, I like Snoopy taking a dip too. That is cute. I want to yeah, I, yeah, I think so. We'll mark that one down. And you know, I've gotten my son in law the Stein every year, but this Stein nobody really likes. No. I'll pet this shop. Stein. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, but why would a German Stein? Made for German beer, be decked out in American colors. I don't know. I really don't know. It's now, weird. I want to point out that there is uh, on the other, the right side, Snoopy is doing a paw pet show. If you, oh ever, if you ever saw Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown, he does a paw pet show on that special. That I and like that ornament. Yeah, and the look on Snoopy's face with dressed up dog is priceless. It's like I can't be bothered with now, this. Richard, I agree with you. The bacon at Mary uh, ornament is really cute. All tangled up, Charlie Brown. Yeah, definitely. That's a limited. That one is a limited edition, so you got to make sure that you order that one ahead of time. 
if you don't order it, it may not, it'll, it may be that you won't get that one. We have now, to get Bacon and Mary you, free. I have to tell you, I'm a sucker for fisherman ornaments, and I'm considering that uh, tree out of. Oh, out of lure. Fish, oh fish mystery. Oh, fish mystery. Okay, I, I have to move us out of the way so that people can see that. Yeah. And the only reason being is that our dad was a fisherman and I've got a few ornaments that remind me of him with, you know, with fishing. What is E? E is life's sweeter at grandma's. It is a stack of measuring bowls. Yeah. Big pass. They say, Happy memories. I can't yeah, that's, read that. It's actually not a bad ornament. Yeah, but she, she, oh my God, Sherry's getting her reading glasses out. <laughs> Wendy, Wendy asks the happening? question: Pepper Tree Villa. I box my hallmarks and almost all other ornaments in original packaging. Do you guys Wendy, do that too? Wendy, yes. we do do that. We go a step further. Lately, over the past six or seven years, Hallmark has used regular paper to wrap their ornaments to or put in the boxes. Paper. We have gone to the other side where we have purchased bubble wrap to put around the ornaments. It makes it much easier for, to put the ornaments back in the boxes as well as protect them a little more with a little cushion. Yeah, and then we put all of those ornaments in their own totes. I mean, I've got three or four totes of Disney Hallmark alone. I have four and a half ornaments, four and a half totes full of Disney Hallmark. And that goes strictly on my tree that features nothing but Disney Hallmark in my dining room. Okay. <laughs> life yes. Yes. The, I'm obsessive. The regular life. paper thing is upsetting. It's so true. It is. They Especially used to, when they it. used to use uh, bubble wrap. In 1994, okay, Hallmark tried to go to paper from using bubble wrap. All of the collectors moaned and complained so loudly, they went back to using bubble wrap in 95. But then the next time when they decided to not do bubble wrap, they said, you know, we're not going to listen to all the people that are complaining. We're just going to do what we need to do. Yep. Okay, Arnie. So we decided to do bubble wrap herself. Life sweeter at grandma says happy memories, warm moments, and tasty treats. It looks like a, a set of three nesting uh, mixing bowls. Yep. But that's going to be a pass for me. <laughs> Stacy says that her wallet ran out the door. She's been chasing it for the last half hour. <laughs> Stacy, that's hilarious. <laughs> but I, I agree with you. This is going to cost us a fortune this year. Well, wait until I tell you what my list is. Okay, next page. Okay, on this page, let me tell you. My grandson wants C, E, I, J, K, L, M, and N. And when he was looking at it with me yesterday, he looked at J and K and he said, Ema, you really don't have to get me both. It's the same train, but two different colors. <laughs> that was so thoughtful. Trains, it's all. <laughs> yep, Richard, it's all about the trains. Doug and I are looking at this particular page. We I have just need the three. Three ornaments. The and that is going to be J, M, and N. Yep. Yeah. Well, and and number or letter G, the Dodge. That is twenty seventh in the All American Truck Series. That is the series that Jeremy I started him on. Yeah. And he's twenty. <laughs> Who, Jeremy? Yeah. He's gonna be twenty eight. He's gonna year. be twenty eight. Yeah. So he has every single one of them. And then Matt, my son-in-law. Joseph, you're not wrong. We need more planes. <laughs> need more I, planes. I started him on that uh, collection of the concept cars, letter C. For Alex? No, Matt. Oh, Matt. Has those. Okay. And then Jeff has the. Um, the planes. The Sky's the Limit series. And this year it's 25th in the series already. Wow. That's amazing. He did. I started him on. I started him on the crayon Crayola set when he was born, but then when they stopped, I went to the. She trans. No, she didn't stop. She transitioned. Excuse I don't know me. If I stopped. The limited edition one of the train that is the same color that 
that uh, your little grandson said that he didn't need. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if it's yellow or if it's gold. Last cool. last year was I, I, gold. I, think it, I, I want to say it's a gold. Yeah, okay. I think it's a gold. Yeah, Richard will pay, will spring for that one. <laughs> not not a bad choice, but you're yeah. gonna want to make sure that you either put your wish list in or get to the Hallmark store the moment they open because that one will sell out quickly. Yes, it will. Did we see an Olaf ornament yet? No. No. Or is uh, that there, I don't believe there was an Olaf I ornament seen this one year. Yet, no. Because I know we've seen some Disney. I don't know if they've got more coming. That's okay, the, the scary next part. Page. Next page. Next page. Now, see, I love on the next page. I love Mar Mar Marvin the Martian as a character, but I don't like it in no. Space Jam, so I'm passing. Yeah, I don't need Space Jam ornaments. No, hideous. No, I'm passing on all passing on all of these. I'm passing too. Yeah. I don't need the television collectible ones of Sheldon and is that is that Jennifer Aniston's character Rachel? Or is no, that, that's no, Monica. That's Monica wearing the turkey. Yeah, uh, Jim, uh, thank you for that information on the Mickey or on the Mickey radio ornament. I appreciate you posting that for us. When you wish, Monster, you can. Oh, you can fly. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely have to get that one. Our wands. Hello there. Hi. Good to see you. Oh my gosh, Juan Rodriguez, how are you doing? He's ready um, for Christmas. Oh my gosh, aren't we all? Yeah, it's Juan only and Kate, by the way, for those of you that have not yet have have just joined, Doug and I got tickets for Disneyland. We're going to be there opening day, April thirtieth. So we're very excited about that. It's a dream come true. I love okay. Disneyland so much. The, the pink MTV ornament. <laughs> Just reminds me of I want my PTV. So if any of you out there want to do I want my PTV videos for us to show during the broadcast, please feel free to email those to peppertreevilla at gmail.com. <laughs> I do like the MTV ornament, though. That's pretty cool. It is It is a cute ornament. I hate it. Okay. I and then the on. one right behind us is interesting, Blanche, but passable. It's Blanche Devereaux wearing her wedding dress. The one that when she turns around is not zipped up all the way. <laughs> I wonder if it's projected like that on the ornament. She's it's, awfully it's possible. hippie in this ornament. Yeah. Awfully hippie in that ornament. No, she is hippie. Okay, next page. Okay, next page Hard pass. Doug unless, you're a, unless you're a sports or Star Trek fan, uh, there's nothing for you. Otherwise, if you like Star Trek, this might be a good page for you. Yeah, the Richard's right. Like it, did, it looked nothing like Blanche. No, those were hideous. Tyler, Tyler Lockett on this one in the bright green looks like he's praying. He, oh, uh, these, he, he actually may be. Yep. I could pass on Star Trek. And uh, women's yeah. soccer. They've got baseball for Atlanta Braves. Dallas Cowboys, women's soccer, and Color Virginia Alvin. Okay, for those of you that. Uh, like these particular yeah, ones, yeah, definitely. And um, we're gonna sleep well tonight. Oh my gosh! Yeah. What's this, Stacy? Stacy says, "OMG, Ben, I just told Ray today I want to do just that. I've got something very special planned for my. I want my PTV clip." <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stacy, that's awesome! Thank you, Stacy. Uh, just so you know, and, I just yeah. killed our bottle of joy. And and by so, the way, everyone, I, it is. That's I want to make I'm sure that flying tonight. I want to make sure people do know it is Stacy's birthday today. Happy, Ooh, birthday, happy birthday, Stacy! Happy birthday, Stacy! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Jay, okay, have a good week. sleep. Ciao. Thanks for joining for tonight. We'll see you again soon. <laughs> next page. <laughs> yeah, here's to you, Richard. <laughs> the oh, next page. I don't want anything from here. Oh. But my grandson has F G I J K L and M circled. Okay, there is the, the child ornament sitting on top of the stormtrooper helmet. That's pretty cute. It looks like they did another Death Star for the tree topper. I think it's the I, same I, one. I think it is the same one. They're just replacing. Yeah, they're just yeah. they're yeah, just recycling it. But, Holy moly, and it's a lot more expensive the, too. What how much is it? $134.99. Oh, yeah, that's a $35 bump. Yeah. It used to be $99.99. Yeah. 
Yeah, I d Derek and Gregory definitely want the child. I can pass. Yeah, I have to say, I like course, the house. Of course, you guys do. No the, one wants the, it. The merriest house in the galaxy. I like that. I think it's hilarious. I do too. Um, okay. And I have a feeling my friend Sean is going to need that ornament. Uh, I bet it has some funny things that it says too. It's Does tuned it, to the Star Wars sound? main title. It plays the Star Wars main title, but it needs a power cord. But Sean, I will supply a power cord if I do get that ornament for you. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we are we all ready for the next page? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And there's nothing on that one that I want either. Like a pass on these. Next page it is. Okay. Well, well, unless you're a fan of Doctor Who and you want a TARDIS hanging on your tree, which a lot of there are a lot Chrissy may like. Yeah, there are a lot of people who are fans of Doctor Who. There are also a lot of fans of Rick and Morty. I have never seen Rick and Morty. Mm. I never some have either. people out there are huge fans of the show. The only one that I would consider on this one, if I was really going to look at any of these and I didn't, I wasn't buying any others. Yep, would be the Sorting Hat. They have a Sorting Hat. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess right up there. There's the Sorting Hat. hat. Okay, the it moved. It moves and it speaks. The, the interesting one that they have here is the one of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I believe this is the fourth in a series that is an unintentional series, but they are releasing one book at a time each year. Oh, sounds like what they re how they release the books to read. Yeah, along with the nifty the nifty ornaments that they do, the nifty fifties and the boxed ornaments. They're and not they're not official collections, but they keep on adding. And I'm not a huge Wizard of Oz fan, but if I had to choose from any of those, it would be K, the Courage, Brain, and Heart. Yeah, those those are cute. But I'm not a Wizard of Oz I'm fan by either. any means. Okay. Well, let's go next to page. the next page then. Yeah, one of the okay. page. Just, <laughs> just so you know, I'm fuzzy all over now. <laughs> yeah, he is. Woo! Now, on this page, I don't... I'm not going to get anything, but my grandson likes D, Wonder Woman. Really? Mm -hmm. Jim says that the Marius House That's in the Lego. Galaxy has a synchronized sound and light show. It's a light show. Oh, movie. yeah. that I've already marked that one, and I'm definitely going to be getting it. So look for an Instagram post. <laughs> one says, Rick and Morty ornament. Now I've seen it all. <laughs> oh, <desperate. laughs> okay. There, there is... One ornament on here that I want. I do like Marvel characters, and I do not have a Star Lord ornament. Oh, so I will most likely get the Star Lord ornament. Okay, there's also a the, the Captain America shield is really cool too. If anyone yeah, is a fan yeah. there, so now, now the what there is a box there that says coming soon. Now. It says that there on the PDF, but in the actual printed copy of It's Captain Green Book, America. It's Captain America, Sam Wilson from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah. So yeah. But that one is coming in July. They and yes, when it is Groot. Groot is there. Groot Groot with uh uh Rocket Raccoon. It says it's a motion activated sound and warns peakers. <laughs> okay. Oh, there That's kind it of is. Cute. What's that? Oh, I was looking for Groot and I finally found it. The yes. yeah. creepy. It looks very Guardians creepy. of the Galaxy Peak Buster. <laughs> now I do have to say, uh, B takes me back to my childhood. To the Bat Cave. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's exactly what it looked like on TV. Yeah. Richard says no. I actually want a gray coming soon ornament. <laughs> I can make you one, Richard. Okay, next next page. Next page coming up. Oh my goodness! None, Video games. Okay, yeah, now, none for me here. Although my grandson wants Minecraft because he was just recently allowed to start playing Minecraft a couple of months ago, and oh, that's all he talks about. Really? <laughs> he's seven. No, he's eight. No, he's eight this year. Yeah. He's and seven. The thing about it is, is that you get him in a car with you 
and he starts talking about Minecraft, he may as well be speaking Greek to me because I know absolutely nothing about Minecraft. And he talks to me like I know all about it. Okay. I, I see that there is a Super NES console ornament here. I never had the Super no. Nintendo, although I Jonathan Chong is Robert. very excited about it. <laughs> My kids had it. And, I know and Juan, not. Likes the, Juan likes the Flying Mario. I must point out, though, Mickey Mouse on this one is from Kingdom mm -hmm. Hearts. Yeah. I have a friend that is a huge Kingdom Hearts fan. And... Uh, he apparently wants this ornament. So. <laughs> See, I like I like Kingdom Hearts because I played it for a while too, but I don't like the scowl on Mickey's face. No, but like, that's, that's, that's who he I is. Know, I, know. Hearts. I do have to say I like Charizard. I would never buy him, but I like him because it takes me back to playing Mario and Pokemon and, you know, all of those things with my kids. All right. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay. Let's go to the next page, everyone. Okay, here we're we go. getting into miniatures here. Yeah, now we're in miniature land. Here. Okay, now miniatures are dangerous for me because I'll yeah. tell you. Behind Arnie and Doug, the title says "Small Joys, Big Smiles." Okay, and I have to tell you, Arnie, my yeah. daughter has come of age this year. Megan has come of age. Uh -huh. She wants a miniature tree. Oh, dear she Lord. She wants a miniature tree? Yes. So I have, to buy buy her this, I have to buy this miniature tree for her because she is starting with the little starfish. And believe it or not, Ben, she likes the spring robin. Okay, Megan, if you're still here, what is it with you? I thought you didn't like birds. <laughs> yeah. Wendy, crap. Are these in stores yet? If so, I'm going to mine tomorrow. <laughs> it will not be no, a cheap no, trip. When you, you have July. you have three months to start saving for these. Although I don't know because the spring robin came out January oh, okay. this year. Yeah, some there are a few select ornaments that were released in January. A lot of them will be released in July, and a lot of them will be released in the, uh, October. With uh, a balance of them released in December, so they do space them out, so you don't have to break your wallet all at once. Now, Richard I, makes Richard makes a good point here. The Pokemon Char Wizard is the most valuable collector's card from the first series. You might invest. Yes, it more. is. I think Jeff has one upstairs in the closet. Jeremy's going to need, one. and there it is: small joys, big smiles, pure crap. <laughs> now wait a minute. Now, <laughs> I have to, Ar Arnie, I have to tell you that this year I made the decision to go ahead and have my kids come over and go through all my Christmas stuff so that they could start taking what they wanted. Oh. Because I want them to start getting it before I die and then them not knowing what to do with it. Yeah, I'm not doing that because Megan will take everything I have. No, I'm buried. All this stuff is getting buried with me. Nobody's going to get it. <laughs> Megan, has, Megan has already laid claim to the crystal tree. Yes. <laughs> Megan wants everything from the crystal tree. Now, but I, like my, my uh, nativity set from Israel that her grandparents gave her dad and me, I'm going ahead and giving that to her this year because that's one she has always liked. And so will like I'm that, just definitely. Now, I'm going to give it to her. Right, let's let's point let's out. Go on. I do want to go to the page, but before we do that, I want to point out the little white West Highland Terrier in the bottom there. It reminds me of Mikey. Yeah, yeah he's cute. Mikey, he is the cute. dog that lived next door, he was a West Highland Terrier. Unfortunately, he passed away a couple of years ago, and I still miss that little puppy, that little doggy. I loved Mikey. He loved me, despised Doug. Oh, yeah. Yes. He hated, hated Doug. There's no strong enough word to describe how much Mikey... Disdain he had. I would, he, I, would walk, I would walk into the house. Mikey would be all over me. He'd see Doug and then turn back to me and just start jumping all over me. <laughs> and this is the dog that spoke, that understood Greek. Yes, the dog. All you'd have to say is Ella and he'd get down. It was amazing. He spoke Greek. Okay. Next, Next page. page Arnie. This is where I get in trouble. Okay, this is a dangerous one. Okay, let me move the. I am getting. Up. I am getting A, B, C, D, F, 
G H I J. Let's just just read the entire alphabet. Okay, Sherry. Sherry. Oh, and Sherry, which ones are you not getting? (laughs) The puppy clock. I think that's ugly. Okay. I I must say that this this has so many good ornaments on it. But uh, I do have to say that seeing the tree skirt and the tree topper <laughs> on page 63 is making me think. <laughs> yes, Mike, I do know my alphabet. As a matter of fact, I did read to a second grade class today, so I'm in that mindset. Yeah. Um, and and uh, yes, uh, I agree with you, uh, Juan. LMNOP, absolutely. That it. tree skirt of Mickey... Of the Mickey heads, that's really cute. But here's what I'm gonna say: yeah. seeing that tree skirt and that tree topper, yeah, is making me think of getting a second miniature tree to do your Disney ornaments. Because I already have so many miniature Disney ornaments. Yeah, that's They're that's actually in- a really nice idea. You, I like the idea of that tree skirt along with a, a tree specifically for that. I'll tell you that is a good idea. In fact, um. Doug is saying, which ones do you like on this? Do you like any of them? I'm going to have to make my decisions on this one after the stream because I'm afraid of what I'm seeing here. (laughs) Well, you know, and I have collected miniatures for so many years. And there there were a few years there where they didn't have much of anything to choose from. Yeah. Silver Rarity, I'm with you. I like the cozy little critters. That's part of a collection that I've been going with, and I'm going to continue it. Well, yeah, we got the, the, cute. we have the bigger set, and then the following year they started the miniature. Yeah. And then we've got the uh, the Junior Jukebox, Tiny Telly, Teeny Toaster. Reminds me of the Brave Little Toaster. Top and then the Four Thunderbird. And I have all of the the miniature car classic car series sci-fi is asking where are the food ornaments we've already gone through a lot of them already (laughs) (laughs) okay next page next page it is here we go okay my grandson even though he understands their miniatures he wants b d and e to put at the top of his tree okay the one thing that i would be that would be cautious of is that the train set that is uh, the Lionel set there, those are usually all plastic as opposed yeah. to metal. He's not getting them. He no. already knows that. Okay. Yeah. You but know I am getting I am getting I J M P and L. Richard and Cassidy are pointing out the trains. Yes. I must say I love the miniature trains that Hallmark oh, used to do, but unfortunately. They skipped on a lot of the details of these miniature ornaments. They used to have uh, wheels that moved, little mm-hmm. parts that yeah. moved, but now they're going for solid plastic mold on those things, and yeah. I'm not a fan. So yeah. they have decided not to buy those anymore because of that. They look cheap. Yeah. Yeah, they do. But that Crayola box, that Crayola yeah. box, is, is that... Is that Baker Lucy? Lucy Baker. Yes. yes. Baker Charlie Brown. I'm going to need all three Baker, of those. Baker Lucy, Baker They're... Snoopy, and Baker Charlie Brown. And I'll probably want the mini Rocka stack from fi- yeah, almost anything Fisher Price. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, Richard's. Yeah, yeah right there. Rocka stack, Crayola, the and Sugar Plum Fairy one, he two, likes. Three, four, and then there's also um, the Sugar Plum Winter Fun, Fun with Snoopy. It's 24. And Although that igloo twirl about with the. Um, I, I, I like that one because I, I do okay. have a lot of the series. The one's kind of cute. Yeah. <laughs> Juan says, all the peanuts, no questions asked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Rudolph and By, by the way, Der- uh, Doug and I are going to Disneyland, but we are also going to Knott's Berry Farm for a Taste of Boysenberry Festival on Sunday, May 2nd. So we're looking forward and to you had better bring me a Boysenberry turnover. We'll try. We will do our best to do that. Also, I want to make sure to see if I can't try get Try is not an option. Or they have will. to go across the street. We won't home. be no, home. We'll we'll be probably get all nice and dry and nasty. Our only time is we're not going to be home right away. If we were I coming home the next 
Yeah, I would think about it, but it's going to be stick it in the refrigerator. Can they be mailed? <laughs> can you order them? You probably order them. I don't think so. I don't okay. Think so. Next, okay, next page. This is where they start to feature Halloween ornaments, which yeah. they've done a lot in the past lately. I need the two of them. I want Hocus Pocus, <laughs> Winifred, Winifred. Is that Winifred? Uh, yeah, Winifred, Winifred from, Winifred. from Hocus, Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Yeah, definitely. They're going to sell a, They're gonna sell a lot of... Hocus Pocus is so popular. Okay, for me, I have to say, one of my fondest memories of 2020, if we can have one, <laughs> is going to the theater that Jeremy and Elizabeth rented out at Halloween time to see Hocus Pocus, there were only six of us in the in the theater. It was it's a private showing of Hocus Pocus in October. And it does was not such, get any better than that. It was such a joy because it was the first time that we had ever done anything like that. Yeah. And it felt so good. I'm just like gonna see him. But on this page, I'm gonna get E, F, and G for my miniature tree. I do like those. I, um, you know what? I'm a nightmare for Christmas, but I don't like that cutesy look. So I'm past them. I well, must and say, I'm getting them just because I don't have any nightmare before Christmas ornaments. Now, there's already a tree skirt up there. You see a scary teddy on the tree skirt. We have yeah. that already. They sold no. that last year. So it's it's a repeat. And I'm trying okay. to get all the Snoopy. So, Jonathan, yeah, definitely. The, the nightmare tree skirt is really cool. We already have that. So I'm glad I have to do. say, though, if I was doing a Halloween tree, I would get the spooky vulture. But Juan is right. The The Pumpkin King tree topper is really cool. Yeah. I like it, it is. It is very cool. And yeah, the caramel apple cutie, I think it's cute, too. It's so, just it's mini. Yeah, it's a miniature. Definitely. But, but the one I, I want... I'll, sk I'll skip the vulture. I just want the two. I'm trying to get all the peanuts, how, uh, Halloween ornaments. Yeah, it's the great I'm pumpkin. I'm kind of missing only like two of them. There is one from the past that we have of uh, Linus and Sally sitting in a pumpkin patch, and you hear Snoopy rising up. And then at the very end, Sa uh, Sally is screaming at Linus, saying, I demand restitution or something like that. <laughs> play them all the time. Since now we have a Halloween tree. And it's big. Yeah, it's a big black Halloween tree. It's got to hill. It's got to grow. It's big. I don't know about that sci-fi. I do know ornaments pretty well, but I don't know if I know them better than anyone else. How no, many ornaments do you have for your Halloween tree, Doug? We don't know. I don't know. We I haven't put it up yet. I mean, we have a nice little collection, but not a whole heck of a lot. The Maybe. Halloween so miniature. Maybe less than a dozen of good. Are you going to need? Are you going to need some fillers because that might be a good uh, craft that we can do. You no, know, where we were going to discuss that we need to do crafting for Halloween. You things. heard it here, everyone. Craft time's coming for Halloween ornaments. No, so. we already discussed that. <laughs> we're going to need fillers. Yeah. Or decorations because I've got those ghosts we make. The Halloween miniature light string for nine 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 dollars and ninety nine cents. That's really cute. Yeah, that is cute. Yeah, but you can get those at Michael's for less. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Lock. but still, it looks, it's a cute idea. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys want to know how much? The Hitchhiking Bones, welcome in. Thanks for stopping in. My, okay. Uh, now, this is, these are the ones that I want for myself. It doesn't include the ones that I get for my kids for their series that I get them every year. <laughs> okay. By the, this is sad. By the are way, you ready for the tour? Very wait, wait, sad. Wait, before you, I are just you want to make sure people understand. This is the end of the catalog here. This is where you're going yes. to find things like ornament hooks, power cords, other things like that. The club. About the club. And then we also have at the very end, they talk about different events that they have for the events, for uh, ornaments. Uh, June 12th, they're having a virtual artist oh, signing. Yeah. They are doing the releases on those various times. And then you're also going to find different things available for uh, different collecting. Everything it's they have at Hallmark that they that they just sell. It's all there. Okay. I think we just saw something on this last page that I think I'm going to have to get. And, and that's that? the mask. The mask. I've made literally almost 100, 100 masks. We might need those we may all need those for our uh, shopping experience in, in July. To go with our shirts. 
I like that idea. Are they available now? I don't know. We'll have to find out. It the, doesn't the have gnome to be on it's a gnome for Christmas. We're going to have to check the Hallmark store to see if they have those available because if so, yeah. we will need those for when we're doing uh, our ornament check in July. And Absolutely. by the way, we will be wearing these t-shirts for that time as well. Yeah, <laughs> I have to say I don't agree with the saying on the mug. What does it say? First we drink coffee, then we hang the ornaments. Oh, that's I so drink stupid. coffee and hang the ornaments at the same time. No, I don't I don't even drink coffee. Okay. I say drink the okay. wine. I'll drink the wine. And just so you know, this, bo this, bottle. this bottle is empty. Our, our bottle of jingle is not. It's really well tonight. No, okay, it's, not, it's not done. Do you want to know what my total is for the ones just for me? No. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm a scared. $717.47. That sounds about right. Okay, we certainly need to start taking a collection for you, Sherry. By but the way, no, here's, here's the <laughs> thing. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start the, uh, the GoFundMe page soon. No, 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 no. Oh, here's the thing. Her. We can save the GoFundMe for something I really need. <laughs> um, Electric bill. This year, because I worked, I went in, <laughs> because I went into work on March 30th. Good night, Silver Rarity. Because I went in to work March 30th, I will be getting a $2,000 stipend. That's contract. That's contract, That's contract from the union. Contract from the with the union. Plus, I get five percent. <laughs> Richard, that's hilarious. I like no, that. Get cash back, Richard. I'm sorry. I'll get it for myself. But I also get five percent of my salary as a bonus for April and May for working those days as well. That's amazing. Yeah, so, that's very generous. Yeah, so you know, the money that I usually get during the summer which is an extra paycheck for quote unquote longevity as a bonus for being with the district for so long. Yeah. Usually takes care of my ornaments. Well, she's covered now. More than covered. So I'm really going to be able to have a good time this year. If there was anything positive about the coronavirus, this is it. Yep. <laughs> Juan, I think we need to look at more ornaments. <laughs> I'm actually going to be looking at ornaments probably at the Disneyland Resort. Oh, my week. gosh. That's right. Arnie, you're going to have to FaceTime me when you get there because I'm looking for unusual ones. Okay. Unusual. Well, you know, like. What I mean is... What do you mean by unusual? Ornaments that are not Mickey Mouse or princesses or, you know, or if it's a Tinkerbell, it's something that I don't have. Okay. Because I've got a Tinkerbell tree and I hesitate in buying Tinkerbell ornaments because so many of them are the same thing. She's sitting on the spool of thread or she's coming out of the lantern <laughs> or coming out of the keyhole. Yeah. The Christmas shop in Orleans Square should have great ornaments. Yes. Generally, that store goes away, and then it comes back. Generally, it's not always there. It well, hasn't who, been there for who a while. knows where the Christmas shop is going Nobody to be knows. this year? Nobody knows what Disneyland has to offer until April thirtieth. Yeah. It's it's yeah. been closed over for over a year. <laughs> Look at Stacy. I don't even want to add, add up, up our total. <laughs> It took yeah. me half an hour to catch my wallet just saying <laughs> I was going to watch a live stream talking about Hallmark ornaments. I don't want to chase it again. <laughs> Dean G is saying okay. the real tree equals a villain's tree. And Richard <laughs> added up his total. What? $1,659. Wow. Richard, oh, you win. Richard, you Richard win. definitely wins. <laughs> Now, I don't know how much our total is. We haven't done that yet. But see, no. That being said, mine may be closer to that by the time I buy the ones for my kids and grandkids. Yeah, but Because for, for my granddaughter, there wasn't a series last year that was started that we really liked. So I got her the... Um, She's going to get her the stocking stuff for ornament no, this year. No, I'm not. You're not going to get her that no. one? No. Why? 
because Megan didn't particularly care for it. So oh. what we did was Megan really, believe it or not, liked the rocking horse. Oh. So I just ordered the first one from Amazon. Which was released last year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> my granddaughter will be started on the rocking horses, which is interesting because those ones were what? <laughs> Noah, 30, lo Noah lost count. <laughs> 30, 30 plus years of those rocking horses. And then they went away. Yeah. And then they came back as rocking horse memories. Wow. Okay. We have um, some early, we went to estate cells and we yeah. have one from 1983, 1984. Really, my really cousin, old ones. I like Wanda's idea. My cousin's <laughs> mother in law had them all. Pam's mom, David's yeah. mother in law, yeah. she had every. Every single rocking horse. Yeah. Wanda, you need to come over and help us hang the real ornaments. Yeah, that would be fun. Okay. That would be fun. You know what? She was here for Friendsgiving last year. Maybe we can save a tree for Friendsgiving to decorate for that night. That would be really fun. Maybe yeah. what I'll do, if you come out, Wanda, and I'll do some of con pollo and bacalao a la biscayen. Bacalao? Yes. You know, Oh my goodness. I don't want my house smelling like codfish. Oh, I thought Yeah, that's... but Sherry, you can also make some mofongo. Good, good stuff. So, like, or I could do the empanadas with platanos. Empanadas, would, that would work. Okay. It's way past yeah. time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's, it yeah, is, we, it's, it's, been, it's a long show, everyone. Thank you so much for yeah. sticking with us tonight for our, our check of the. Uh, <laughs> the dream book. Oh my goodness! Yeah, it's a dream, all right. Some people make. And you guys are nightmare. right, sci-fi and fantasy geek. They can be very expensive. <laughs> sci-fi doesn't put his empanadas on Christmas trees. I'm with you on that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Stacy, we're the same way, definitely. Everyone, thank you so much for joining us tonight for PTV Live. Thank you. So uh, we had a great time talking about our. Yeah. Tonight, I didn't know it would go this long. Oh, I did. I've been <laughs> bored half the time. I let all of you three cackling hands go in. I've been bored. I've already picked out what I wanted. Oh, Doug, shush. Well, this is what happens when you consume alcohol and civil people don't. Or should I just go ahead and say, shut your face up? You can't you. see my fingers under the table. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You just be careful. I've got the cricket machine. One wants to okay. hang out. One wants to hang out at Knott's at Virginia's gift shop on May second. Huh? Oh, Let's, Let's do that one. Let's do that one. Do there. Okay, everyone. Let me see if I can find the uh, moment of groovy for everyone. Uh, yeah, ben, what's going on? Time. Life with Ben is not happening this week. Life with Ben is taking a vacation this week. Arnie and Doug will be posting the video in its place, so you yeah. will see fresh content on Thursday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern, yeah, I 7 a.m. Pacific. I have a couple of shorts I'm working on, so if I can get one, uh, actually, if I can get both of them done, I'll post them both at the same time, so that we'll have some shorts there for you. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have some fun with that. Um, if it did... Did I render it? I know I did. I'm sure I did. Really? That sounds amazing. Oh, we, we could do beignets. If anybody ever gets a chance to get some of these, they it is amazing. We we have a short coming up with post uh, oh, with with that information. It is good. Richard, I I I would be honored to share beignets with you at Ralph Brennan's. Yeah, that would Arnie, be are you having an issue? I'm sorry? Are you having any problem? Uh, yeah, go ahead and... Uh, here, let me go ahead and zero in on you. Find <laughs> Why? You. There we go. Yeah, we're, we're everything is Hallmark here. We've got my four boxes here. We've got our Hallmark shirts. We've got our ornament here. Our dream books. Our dream books. Everything's Hallmark tonight. Our Hallmark wine. And our Hallmark channel wine. We're happy to go. Bring that up. That one right there. <laughs> Are you guys having an issue over there? That's not it. Sorry, Ben? Are you guys not, having an issue over there? Not, What's going on? 
He spent all this time today. I on spent it. time ed editing, and I guess I didn't render the video. Oh no! So your moment of groovy will be happening. I'll so... This is what I'll do. I will post your moment of groovy uh, on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, Please but... do because there's yeah. a lot of stuff there. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, I am not seeing it here. It may. I don't know where where it ended up on my on my files. I am so okay. sorry about that, everyone. Apologies. It's been a very spastic, fast day. It was a very spastic day. I apologize for that, everyone. It's trying to do too... About... No, we were trying to do too many things. It just wasn't working. I know about spastic days. Today, we welcomed our third, fourth, and fifth graders on campus for the first time. Oh, okay. So it's been, it's been crazy for us, too. But if Cassie's here, do, the, <laughs> do a, an explosion here. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, already ruined Arnie Christmas. Already ruined Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, everyone. The moment of groovy did not render. I, I will go ahead and post that on Instagram and Twitter tonight. I'll get those rendered. I'll get it rendered and post it tonight. And then you can see that tomorrow if you have to get to bed. A uh, quick question from Stacy. You guys aren't going to surprise us with another live stream after this one. That. <laughs> He didn't know. <laughs> no. no, no, no. That will not be happening tonight. No, it was just a slip. No. I was trying to. They were seeing something and it accidentally. It hit. I hit the uh, a button because of the the interface that I use. So yeah. Oh, Richard says just play the song. Be, there will be some Christmas crafts coming in the future too for Christmas in July. July. So look for those. That's I'm looking forward to getting those together for you guys. We're only three short months away from the ornament release at Hallmark stores. You go to yep. here. Go back. No, it's, it's not there. I know it's not. No, that one. But that one folder off to the side. <laughs> okay, which which folder, Doug? This, this one. Creativity in action, folks. That's for, that's from last week. Well, someone is very disorganized on this computer, so apologies, everyone. But like Richard said, I have, um, I do have a backup. I'll just go ahead and play, uh, play the our, song, play the moment of play groovy song, card. and yeah, we'll have some groovy music, and we'll do the the title card. And everyone. thank you, Cassidy, for the super chat. Yes, Cassidy, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. It was very, very sweet of you. Thank it you was... for spending your Monday night with us, guys. Yes. We enjoyed it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for everything that you do for us. We really appreciate it, everyone. Uh, have a magical evening, everyone. And uh, let's go ahead and finish it off here with the dream book. And have a great big... Oh, 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 oh. Before we leave, I see something else there. Oh, yeah, my really God. Happened. Oh, my oh, goodness. Wanda. Thank you for Wanda. a lovely Wanda. show. Wanda, thank you so much. We're not that entertaining. We really aren't. It's a $20 <laughs> super chat from Wanda of Cruising for Food. Thank you for a lovely show. I love you all. Wanda, thank you so much for that. Really appreciate it. And everyone, I'll go ahead and finish it there. Uh, have a magical evening and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow, everyone. Let's Good see. night. To, to work. Good night, everyone.